Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Jenny Merrill of Natchez was murdered on this day, August 4th in 1932. News of the sensational crime spread around the world, making front page coverage on newspapers throughout the United States and Europe. Coverage of the Goat Castle murder, as the crime came to be known, shed light on the eccentric lifestyles of the four prominent Natchezians involved in the incident. The wealthy yet reclusive Jenny Merrill was the daughter of Ayers Merrill, a former minister to Belgium. In her youth, Jenny was a noted beauty, and while living abroad, she had moved in the highest social circles. She had returned to Natchez, and after her father's death, lived in a number of the city's great houses, finally moving to an estate called Glen Burnie. On the evening of the 4th, Merrill's cousin, and according to some reports, her lover, Duncan Miner, had arrived for his nightly visit. It was rumored that early on, Miner's mother had forbidden the couple to marry. Nevertheless, Miner visited Jenny's house each evening. When he couldn't find Jenny, he called the sheriff. A search party arrived, and it was there, on the property, that her bullet-riddled body was discovered. Jenny's neighbors, Dick Dana and Octavia Dockery, were implicated in the crime. Dana, the son of a longtime Episcopal priest, was a talented pianist who had become mentally unstable. He was cared for by his companion, Octavia Dockery, the daughter of a Confederate general and something of a well-known poet and writer. Dana and Dockery had fallen onto hard times and lived in squalor at Glenwood, an estate that adjoined Merrill's Glen Burnie. Over the years, animosity had arisen between Merrill and her neighbors, reputedly over the herd of Dana's goats that wandered freely at Glenwood in and out of the old mansion, along with chickens and other farm animals. Jenny shot one of the goats who had wandered onto her property, and some speculated that Dana had sought revenge. The couple was eventually cleared of the charges, but the notoriety the incident garnered shed light onto the unbelievable living conditions of Glenwood, which had become known as Goat Castle. Jenny Merrill's murder has been the subject of a number of articles and books and continues to intrigue writers and historians all seeking the real story behind the Goat Castle murder. I'm Carrie Gatto. And I'm Megan Gatto. We're here at Glen Burnie, our family home. And this has been your Natchez History Minute.